is the MyNASA data homepage. And there's some features that you'll see on the homepage. For one thing, notice the image. This is a dynamic image. We, it changes over time. So be sure you check back with the MyNASA data uh, website to see if the image has changed. Also notice that there's a link to the citizen scientist side of our website. For example, if you and your students wanted to do some science projects, uh, we consider students as being citizen scientists. So be sure to go to the citizen scientist link and check out the project ideas that are available for you and your students. Another really interesting link is the Earth Observatory link, which gives you some terrific imaging for you to show to your students. Very important section that we're going to talk about the next couple of minutes are the five navigation buttons that you'll see on our home page. And these buttons will be available on all of our pages. Uh, we mentioned the home page, so you kind of know what's available here. But also notice that we have some different links within the home page. So again, come back and check to see if these have changed. The second navigation button is for data access. And this is um, the really powerful part of our website. And in um, modules coming up in the training, you'll be led through an example of how to use our data. But under data access, you're gonna find the live access server, or what we call the LAS in our lesson. Also, there are sets of um, data that we call microsets that are already there for you and have lessons linked to those data sets. So if you're interested in one of those, be sure and, and click to get the lessons that go with it. Um, our lesson plan page, we're going to talk about here in a, in a minute, but under our lesson plan page, we have almost 90 lessons. So in addition to the three lessons that we're going to overview today, um, there are many more lessons. The computer tools section gives you some great strategies, software, tutorials for helping implement the data sets with your students. Um, in some cases, it's additional software programs or uh, Word documents or additional information. And then finally, the science focus page. This is where we house links, interesting educational links, um, additional content information, more about how to use data, more about our project, and more about units, for example, the metric system.